Hello, and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the second part of the temple build, um, where we're going to get into a little bit more of the, the detailed construction work. Uh, stained glass windows, painting, things like that. So let's just jump right in and see how it's done. Okay, jumping into the detail work. This is the platform for that blank tower, adding some uh, little stonework that will kind of attach it to the top of that blank tower. Created a quick jig to make kind of an octagon shape for the top of the blank tower. This will be kind of where that windowed lighthouse will be. Cutting out a circle that will go inside of the little dome. This dome is just a um, the top of a bird feeder that we were discarding and I like the, the look of it so I kept that little dome. Now cutting out the doorway for that, that lighthouse. Adding a, a door and some texture to it and cutting out the, the window component. Now texturing the panes of glass inside of this uh, inside of all of the windows. On the outside of that, we'll have uh, one of those 3D printed windows. Now I'm cutting out a railing section for between the two towers. Just measuring so I can cut out little archways along the, the railing. Hot gluing that into place. Gave that a black Mod Podge, and now the, that sandy tan color. I painted the inside of the bell tower first, just so that I would be able to get it all painted. Then gluing that on top of the tower, gluing the octagon shape on top of the tower, and gluing the columns into place. I'm using a cereal box and just with the knife cutting out the panels that will be the texture for the roof. I wanted a, a metal texture for the roof instead of uh, tiles or shingles of some sort. And I'm using a ballpoint pen and just kind of scoring the, the lines of the metal and then alternating um, an inch down to give it that metal panel look. I put some tacky glue in a very small syringe and I'm just kind of touching a drip of that tacky glue along the edge of those panels and when that dries it'll form little kind of rivets or nail looks to the to those metal panels. Now this is the main section of the uh, the main door. giving the texture to the door itself. The inside will have kind of a wood panel look. And the exterior is gonna have more like a sun uh, starburst kind of appearance. The outside will have a metal texture. Giving some more rivet, rivets to the door. I'm dry brushing the, all of the pieces with a slightly lighter it's tan, but it's really kind of almost into a gray color. Now I'm dry brushing a copper color to the roof panels, as well as to the dome. And then once that's dry, I'm dry brushing a turquoise color to give it a patina. Once all of that's completely dry, just using some tacky glue and attaching it to the roof. Putting the roof cap on. And then on that little peak, there's some smaller sections for that as well. Now I set out all of the 3D printed parts and I put a section of plastic over it and traced over it. And now I'm just using permanent markers to give it some color. Cutting that out 
It's the scissors. Gluing the rose window into place and then gluing each of those uh, colored windows inside of the uh, 3D printed windows and then gluing another 3D printed window on, on the other side. So both sides have the 3D printed window with the plastic sandwiched in between. Giving the windows a little bit of a white undercoat to make them pop a little bit more. And then coming along with a light blue and just adding a little bit of light blue, leaving some of the white showing. I outlined all of the windows with some black paint and then I'm coming along with black ink and kind of filling in those lines a little bit more to make the, the panes a little bit more evident. I'm gluing on the 3D printed windows and those are all painted that copper color. And I painted the door the copper color as well. Just hot glued on the dome. I'm adding some silver paint to the water and some gold paint to the sunburst on the right side. And then just adding some other metallics to the detail work. I painted the door copper first and then I'm adding this gold color. Now I'm going to work on the bell itself. I downloaded a 3D um, printed bell and printed that. So that's the, the bell that I'm using, but I'm just making the frame for the, the bell itself. These are just matchsticks kind of cut into place. Sprayed it black and now I'm giving it a brown, just a dark brown coat and painting the bell itself a brass color. Just using some tacky glue and gluing that into place. So this was uh, quite a project. It's taken me quite a while to make it, um, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I think some of the design of it was, I think, not ideal. I'd probably do things a little bit differently if I had to do it again. But overall, I think it turned out to be a very nice piece. Um, can't wait to see it on the table and get some use out of it. All right, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you'd like it, again, please hit the, the like button and subscribe down below and check out some of my other videos on this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you and see you again next time.